Hi, I'm Dr. Jose Antonio. I am the CEO of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, and I'm also a researcher at Nova Southeastern University in Davie, Florida. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about high protein diets and why it might help bodybuilding and other sports. First of all, there's a few things that we need to know about protein. You definitely need it for your body just for making enzymes. It helps your bones, it helps your muscles, it helps you recover. But let's get into the nitty gritty detail. Uh, one of the concerns people have is what happens when you consume a lot of protein above the RDA? Will you gain uh, fat mass in addition to muscle mass? Well, the RDA for protein is 0.8 grams per kilo per day, and the RDA stands for recommended daily allowance. We did a study several years ago where we, we had subjects consume two grams uh, per pound uh, body weight of protein, and they did not uh, gain fat mass. However, they didn't change their lean body mass either. And what we found was that if you change someone's training and have them eat a high protein diet, something like three grams per kilo, you could actually increase uh, lean body mass, but also in addition, decrease fat mass. Now, one of the concerns is what happens to your kidneys. We actually have data showing that if you consume a high protein diet for up to a year, and this is in trained male bodybuilders, that if you consume it for up to a year, there's no harmful effect on your kidneys, on your liver, or even your blood lipids. Everything is perfect even after a year, and we have follow-up studies showing that two years on a high protein diet have no harmful effects. The other thing that's interesting is that when you look at bone, there's a concern that women who consume a lot of protein, it might leach calcium from their bones and might make their bones brittle and weak. Well, we've actually done studies uh, up to six months looking at trained women primarily to see what happens to their bones if they consume a high protein diet, somewhere around 2.5 to 3.0 grams per kilo. And we found that nothing happens to bone. If anything, there's data to suggest that if you eat a higher protein diet, you may actually increase lumbar bone mineral density. So there's a lot of benefits to consuming protein, certainly way above the RDA, somewhere to me at least a gram per pound or 2.2 grams per kilo is what athletes and bodybuilders should do. And one of the great things about protein is that it helps diminish appetites. So you may be less apt to consume, let's say junk food and things like that. And, and also protein might act not just as a potent thermogenic agent, which we know uh, the thermic effect of protein far exceeds carbs and fat, but also it might impact what we call NEAT or NEAT. And that basically represents any and all movement you do that is not formal exercise. So for instance, it could be standing instead of sitting. It could be walking instead of standing. It could be taking the stairs instead of the escalator or elevator. It's really just the sort of random movement we do throughout the day that is not classified as formal exercise. So certainly just being in your backyard moving around, that classifies as neat. And so that's really uh, the, the state of the art in terms of the research on high protein diets. So for more content on sports nutrition or sports supplements, go to bodybuilding.com and that's it.